Hey guys, this is Josh with the Sunroom Toy Reviews. I know that my camera on this thing is kind of crappy, but hopefully the lighting's a little better. Who knows? Well, let's go ahead and share this. Now you can see the camera if you take a look at me. It's crap. Maybe I'll have to get a webcam. Do you really? Apparently, Harbor Freight sells a webcam, guys. All right. So, whoever is in here, thank you for joining. If you'd like to chat, go ahead. I'm just sneaking on to Facebook so that I can share it to the Sunroom Toys. Prayers to Brutus Son Brutus. He's a part of the Sunroom, and I noticed uh, just now as I loaded this that he's actually going in for open heart surgery. So. That's actually a scary thing, touches my heart, because I was afraid for so long. Good vibes. Good vibes to him, yeah. All right, so this is a new thing here I'm trying here on Sunroom Toy Reviews, and I'm just going here to pin this to the top, mark his announcement, see if I can't get some of you Sunroom guys in here. All right. Did you give me not? Oh, you did give me scissors in your belt. Oh, where are you? All right. So usually on Friday nights inside of the group, the sunroom, the essential toy collecting lounge, I would go live with you guys, open up some boxes of stuff that I got from people in the group and uh, eBay guys, Mercari, whatever. And I'd share with you what I got. And then I would go ahead and uh, just do some toy talk with you guys. So Let's open up this first one. It comes from Jerry De La Cruz. Thank you, Jerry. This was actually a gift. Everyone in the sunroom knows that I am trying to grow. How you doing, Sid? Good to see you in here. Trying to grow my stilt man to be like 50 feet tall. And if you know me, I'm six foot two, six foot three. If I stand up tall, the accident's got me at like six foot hunched over. But yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. De La Cruz. I have another set of these stilt man legs. I'm getting closer to what I want to do. And I hope that all of you are having an amazing day, that your weekend is going to be great. It's a holiday weekend. Hopefully your week wasn't too bad. And what better way to end your Friday than to sit and chat? If you haven't, checked out the... Uh, review for the white skull agent please do that thing was expensive wife said go ahead and get it i really wanted it and you can kind of see and i'll do an update to the detolf at the end it's right there as i stated in the video i gave her a couple shout outs i don't think she realized it this is from brian carter him and the white i already opened it so this shouldn't have been up here oops yeah which one the white skull. Yes. No, he has a white skull. Yeah. The other one's Doc Knock. Okay. That's white skull. Don't worry. I already dropped him once. So go check out the review for this bad boy, and I'll leave him sitting right here for now. Okay. And this next one is actually something I'm going to review, and this came from Keith Maxwell. He's a, a guy that I've known for a long time. He's out of Olympia. Washington. He's helped me out periodically. He, uh, in general, goes to SDCC every year. And he hooked me up with a Green Ranger SH figure art that was an exclusive to that at the time. And uh, I got that from him and it was a great grab. He got it to me for retail and that's, you know, that's my boy. And he had a, a game up in Holar, headquarters of legit raffles, and it had something in it that I really, 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 really wanted. You know, I'm a, I'm a Fortnite guy to an extent. I don't collect every Fortnite toy, but I mean, where else are you going to get a giant sausage as a figure, aka the brat or the brat? Where else are you going to get a big cat that's a bodyguard? Doing good, Rogue. How are you, brother? 
where else are you going to get <laughs> a fucking transforming robot with the cat's baby? <laughs> Fortnite comes up with some crazy, crazy shit. And if this thing actually transforms, I'm going to have to figure it out. You'll see a review on this coming up soon. Uh, I did not get it shipped in box. I didn't want to pay that, but he did send me some pictures of the boxes so the review can look amazing for you guys and all that good shit. But, you know, the secret to these toys. Oh, he comes with instructions on how to transform. We'll get to that. The, the secret to these toys are the guns. Hasbro makes amazing figures. I love Marvel Legends. Uh, that's been my bread and butter for years. I'm actually getting away from Marvel Legends now that I'm getting more Mezco and stuff like that. I started reviewing them for you guys and it made me want them more. Hasbro sucks with weapons. Fortnite comes through with weapons. And you can see it's even got the holes if you want to put some firing effects in there. But like this would look great with a bishop. Dude, I'd love to see the stuff you just got in the trade. Shoot me a message or better yet, post it in the group, brother. You know, where else are you going to get saw hands or something of this nature? A plunger gun, dude. Like, and it fucking shoots. Like, you know, you load it up and it shoots. Dude, th this is just stuff you can't get anymore. These are things that remind me of my childhood. These kind of things. So Fortnite is my jam to an extent. I will pick those up every now and then. Let's see. This shows me how to transform this guy. And it doesn't look too complicated. So you disconnect the torso from the legs. Let's take the kitty cat off. I don't want to drop them. So you disconnect the torso from the legs. And then you place the legs on the Back of the seat. Which way? Okay. Yeah, this isn't confusing at all. You can tell I wasn't the best Transformers guy either. I'm sorry. All right. It's supposed to peg in. It goes this way. To the hole of the back of the legs. Okay. Maybe this thing moves. Sorry, if you're just tuning in, I'm fucking around with a Fortnite figure. I will eventually get this. I'm going to ask the wifey to fuck with that. I don't want to break it. All right. So next up, this is from Michael Casper. Now, I got one of these from Roger Taft. He hooked me up. I was able to do the review. And Mike Casper actually had an extra. So I ended up buying it to help him out. This is from Anthony McNeil. You guys know him as Mr. Mezco. I did a trade with this guy. And uh, he was able to hook me up with something that is very difficult to find. At least for retail. So thank you very much, Anthony. And he packed it like a gentleman and a scholar. I have not seen anything arrive from a uh, priority box and not get dented. So Iron Fist is in the house. Thank you, brother. Anthony, I appreciate you. This is the creme de la creme for me. I've been wanting this figure for a long time. I had actually had it in my cart around Christmas time. And I had to tell myself no, because the money that I had gotten from doing games of choice, I told myself I would keep for Christmas money, and that's why I did it. So I just left them in my cart, looked away, but it's not that I never looked back. Red is my favorite color. My wife can attest to that, and 
Uh, as Eminem would say, my favorite color is red, just like the bloodshed. My favorite color is red, just like the bloodshed of Kurt Cobain's head when he shot himself dead. Oh, you're gonna get a lot of shit for that. Dude, that new Wolverine Mezco is fucking awesome, dude. I had to get one for myself as well. Tip with the Mezcos, if you pay through PayPal and you've got the money now, you pay it off right away and you're gonna get your figure, you don't even have to worry about that non-refundable deposit. Any of that. Like you're gonna get your figures. That's the best part about Mezco. I just I don't do the PayPal often because I'm just goofy like that. I'd rather, you know, have it stored. So this is the Crimson Dragon. And he's going in this detox tonight. I'll, I'll put him to the side for now and we'll get back to him and open him. But I want to get through some of these other boxes. Thank you, sweetheart. This one is from Mark Moore. Dude, your wife did the right thing. But BBTS, dude, man. All right, hopefully they get it to you quick because BBTS is known to drag on shipments. So just be aware of that. This is a hot Mezco item as well. Honey, you want to help me out here? Thank you. It is the bodega in a fucking box. This thing is sweet. You've got the mezzets up top. You've got the pigeon. I'm going to have to do a review on this. You've got the Mezco, Mezco Con for the fall of 2020 sticker right on the front. You've got the little radio playing the love music, the break dancing mezzet. Then you've got Sasquatch, Bigfoot, whatever you want to call him, sitting in front of the bodega. That's pretty fucking sweet. And then you have the Sucker Punch Pizza. It's being eaten by a pink skull. Everybody knows pink skulls. Those things are fucking sick. And then you've got just the best. I mean, this whole box. And then you got the Warriors. This is basically Gomez characters. I didn't even get the reference, but you've got the uh, Baseball Furies. Pink Skull is Baseball Fury. And then you've got Mezco as the Warriors running on one side. Uh, Gomez, not Mezco. I'm sorry. And this was nice underneath. And I think Mez actually explained on his interview with Paige uh, a while ago, we're not getting turtles, but you've even got Baron Benz on this thing. It would have been nice to get some Mezco turtles. I wouldn't be surprised if that's somewhere down the line. Don't quote me on that, but I wouldn't be surprised. This one comes from Kyle Noble. Belding, Michigan. I think he might live pretty close to uh, Mike Murawski. The ultimate Iron Man and the wife bought me the brown suit, Wolfie. Yeah, dude, Mezcos are amazing figures. They are expensive. Probably the bane of my wife's day when I go to her and I'm like, can I get a Mezco? Yeah. But they're worth it at the end of the day. I mean, it's a nice investment, too. I mean, I've been able to pay bills by getting rid of figures that I had from them that maybe, maybe I liked it when I got it and... You know, later on, it just wasn't something I needed, you know. So, Rogue, can you do me a favor? I know you're in here. Can you hit up some of the guys that usually come in here? Let them know in the sunroom. I did post it, and I know I'm close to Jason King's time. And some guys might be wanting to stick around that. But if you could do that, I would appreciate it greatly. This, I told myself no more movie characters, so I want to clarify this, and Michael Morowski of the Sunroom can attest to that. I bought this because everyone and their mother has been making a Damian Wayne Robin to go with their Batman, because Mez will not give us a Robin. He hates Robin. He hates the thought about Robin, all that bull crap. Yeah, oh well. And uh, so this is perfect for that. This is a figure you can get pretty cheap. And once I get that going, I'm probably going to film the process and get it to you guys so that if you guys ever want to do it, you'll have some kind of how to. That's the one thing I will say about people that do customs. They There's too many of them that just won't share how they do it. So this last box is really fucking huge. Heavy, and it comes from Mike Hannon, my brother from another mother. 
He actually helps me run the sun room and the moon room. And uh, he's been a good ear to talk to lately. You know, it's the main reason I started the sun room was to gain friends. I'm an introvert. You can ask my wife. She hates it because I don't even want to go to family events, shit like that, which it doesn't make sense that I'm an introvert because here I am sitting and opening crap with you guys. But, you know, I started the sunroom as a way to try to get friends, try to get people to come together as a community, because let's face it, the toy groups on Facebook are pretty fucking toxic for the most part. Can you push that towards me, sweetheart? Thank you. So, we ended up with the sunroom. We got over 3,000 members, and we're living happily ever after so far as we grow. So, I told you to make your own. Mike Hannon helped me out as I'm on my ESCO kick, and whoa, that almost fell. He's got a comic shop out by him that had this Mezco for under retail and definite, well, no, not under retail, I'm sorry. It's definitely under what the extra cost is on the secondary market. <laughs> My daughter's watching the live. Hi, Juliet. You can see this is a dope ass set. This is getting opened up and put on the shelf. And then he had a bunch of risers. And I have a detox, but I have no risers. And he's like, well, I got a bunch of shit I want to get rid of. And I'm like, I'll take it. I need risers. I need stuff. So he sent me a bunch of his little acrylic risers and stuff. So let's see what else is in here because he did message me today asking me if I had liked the surprises. So let's see what they are. Dude, you got boxes on boxes on boxes in here. All oh, these things are sweet. So these are basically single figure risers and there's a good, probably 15 of them in here, if not 20. Let's see what's in this other one. Uh oh. White skull fell, honey. You can't open the box on there. Dude, the Mezco Wonder Woman, you should have got that before that movie dropped and became a hot commodity, unfortunately. Oh, ho, ho. we got a Sentinel build a figure piece for the base. We got a nice little Batman stand. Oh, oh shit, I think he sent lights. Oh no, no, okay, I know what these are. So I've got a lot of little flight stands. I'm gonna have to do some work and figure out how to put these back together. I'm hitting you up, Mike. You're a carpenter, you're gonna teach me. Man down, you're right. That figure fell, man down. These are the awesome stands that people were making. And you can see it's got the circle at the end. They basically use like a clothes hanger. And then you can just kind of have it as a flight stand. So there's a good few of those in there. Some more of those others. And then he's got some circle bases. I'm definitely about to pimp out this detox. I'm going to have to make time to sit and do that. Now, as promised, let's go ahead and open this Crimson Gomez as he's been reviewed enough. I'm probably not going to review him, but I am going to put him in my detox. Or as Mike Morowski would call it, a debt lock. Oh, boy. I, I think that's the proper saying. So we have the Crimson Gomez. And he comes with a crap load of accessories. Oh, man, he, he has a grub. Oh, he's got a grub. Thank you, Joseph Devine. I appreciate this so much. So he's got his smoke screen. You can see his smoke. He's got some stickers. He's 
He's got his little soft goods. I'll have to figure out what those are. And then he's got his little Roby. His baggy. Put all his accessories in. Nice little Crimson Gomez stand. How you doing, Balt? Good to see you come through, brother. Thank you for joining me tonight. You know what, babe? Can you give me that Mezco box I created so I don't just put this stuff all willingly and cause a problem for myself later? How was your trip, Balt? Did you make it home safely, brother? Thank you. You can hear my son in the background being his usual goofy self. My kids like to be on camera, so if you hear them yelling, that's fine. I'm glad you're safe, Ball. You know, that's what I like about the Mezcos the most. They come with a ton upon a ton upon a ton of stuff inside of it, which is something you don't get from every figure that you grab. So, Mezco for life. You know, apparently they tape these. Hi, Daddy. Hi, yes. How are you? Whoa, he went to fit. Yeah, you, you, can, you can pop it. Go on, baby boy. How you doing, Price? Good to see you in here, Mr. Ash. These baggies have been giving me trouble lately. I just can't get them to work right. I actually hit Mezco up for some of these because I have a couple that were legitimately defective and uh, they straight up told me, oh, we don't, we sold out of those. Sorry, they don't, didn't sell out of those. Get out of here. They make them for every figure. So let's see. This this guy comes with a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 hands if you count the two that are already on them. And the hands that come in here. He comes with a boom box, which is like the Gomez signature. He comes with the little grub in the crimson outfit, which is amazing. I need to get a lone roach now. What? Yeah, dude, it's like people think I'm lying, Price, when I go in the groups and I posted the video in the center room, and guys are just like, Oh, you just got to do this and that. No, I tried this and that. I tried cutting it. It just, it was one piece of baggy. It's not a double sided. He's got his nice little weapon. And then he's got a bunch of the ninja stuff that came in the black. He's got some arrows. He's got a bow in here, four grenades, nunchucks, a gold knife. He's got some throwing stars. Yeah, man. Now, see, the creme de la creme for the Mezco for me. You can cut it open if you want. It's a surprise little Gomez thing. The best part for me is holding the figure. You know, you get these Mezcos in hand, and a lot of people make jokes. They call these things uh, Migos with uh, articulation or, you know, things like that. And it's really not comparable, and it's not fair when people say that. You know, the, the people that have said this stuff, I legitimately feel they have never held a Mezco figure in their hands ever and probably never will because it's just a little out of the price range. I mean, they are expensive, but they're fun. And that's what toys are supposed to be. So you get three heads. Okay. That's an additional head. You get like a, a beetle head with translucent blue eyes. Shit, I said I wasn't going to review them. I might have to go back and reopen this guy. <laughs> Nicely done. And then they always put a piece of plastic under the head. And you can see the head that he comes with. Red, which is my favorite color. He's got a dragon on the back of his back. You really can't see that there. I apologize. What's up, sweetheart? And then my wife opened our free mezzet that came with it. The grub. Here's our grub. It's a gold one. I've gotten a ton of gold ones with the boom boxes. I'm getting tired of gold ones. 
Gomez and Mezco apparently gave us some other colors, but I haven't seen them, and I'm hoping to find some. He's got a sword with a sheath or a scabbard. He then has like an old school sword, two swords, kind of like daggers, and then he's got two sides. This thing looks fucking amazing, and then some little knives. So this is probably the most interesting thing to me right here with the chain. And I know that's hard to see. I apologize. So that is basically the toys that I have gotten over the past week or so from guys in the group or guys on eBay and such like that. Uh, I did have a little bit of a topic that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And I know Jason King is currently live, so I won't take too much of your time. And if you want to dip out for his stuff, that's perfectly fine with me. <clears throat> So I want to talk about the subject of raffles and games. I know that the Sunroom had raffles and games in it originally, and then we kind of moved all the games over to uh, the Moon Room. And the reason we did that was to protect the community and keep the community alive and thriving. And so some of the guys that are in the community that do not wish – to see that type of stuff won't have to. Now, what I wanted to bring up about games is it seems that everyone now is running games and they're getting more and more expensive for what you're getting by the, the day. Uh, you know, 100 spot games, I'm not going to play a 100 spot game if the buy-in is like over 10 bucks because I don't like spending that much on spots. I'm noticing... Everybody grabbing up like 50 PlayStation 5s to raffle them when people like myself that want one to play can't even find a PlayStation 5. Like, cool. And I've played on some of the games. But when you're starting to charge like 24 bucks a spot just so that you can put less spots, like, that boggles my mind. And I never understood the point of that. So, you know, it's just some food for thought for me. You don't have to go by it. You don't have to live by it. But, you know, I, I really think that there's supposed to be an etiquette when you're running games. And that's something that myself and most of my admin in the sunroom abide by is you kind of you don't go to the store and clear it out and go to another store and clear it out. If you go to the store and they have two cases of something, you buy one case. And if you're going to keep it, great. If you open it, you don't like it, you sell it, great. Or if you're going to raffle that one case, great. You don't buy both. You don't then go to the next Walmart five, uh, five minutes up the road and buy that store out. And then go to the next Kmart and Target. You know, you don't just go store to store and clear all the stores out. That's not doing anyone any favors. And I will say that Vanessa... Jackson, I believe is your last name, dear. And if I'm getting it wrong, please tell me. But you had it right when you said that the community is getting ruined because of these people that want to go in and just buy everything from a store. It, you're absolutely right. And I think that we as a community need to be better than that. And we should be calling out the people that are doing it and pointing it out. You know, you're not a wholesaler if you're going to every Walmart and buying all of it. I'm good. Wendell, how are you? Hopefully, you'll come back and watch some of the Mezco goodness. White Skull made a feature tonight. We got Crimson Gomez here. But, uh, you know, you got to have etiquette with resale. You're not a wholesaler. You're not getting the stuff at wholesale pricing. You're getting it at retail. You're clearing out stores and it may be part of the reason that most of these kids are watching unboxing videos on YouTube instead of sitting here and actually being children and playing with toys. I mean, it, it Toys R Us went under and it wasn't because of just their pricing. It was because of the fact that children do not want to play with toys anymore. And, you know, everything's electronic now. And I don't blame them. Honestly, if I'm going to the store and it's picked clear, and I can't even find the Ghostbuster that I want, you know, then I'm going to get discouraged and I'm just not going to do toys. And that's, I think it's making our kids grow up quicker than they need to. I mean, my daughter loves 
watching these unboxing videos that I do for you guys, the reviews, she likes to be part of it, and I'm bringing her back in then. As a matter of fact, we have a Raya and the Last Dragon figure to review together. But, uh, you know, we really have to think as collectors. We need to be collectors. We need to have an etiquette in the community. We can't just go clear out every store in our area and then mark everything up. I mean, I understand the hustle. Trust me. 2020, everybody's had a hustle, but we should be respectful of everybody. There, there has to be enough of these toys to go around for everybody. There's no reason that we are ruining something that is a hobby for all of us. And I think it's now come to a fine line between a hobby and obsession, being a hoarder and just being a scalper. And unfortunately, I have seen a lot of guys that I've met in the past year that have become scalpers. And it's just insane. So pardon my house just a little bit. Let's go and show you some toys that have been added to the detolf. And I have a few more shout outs for you guys. Okay. So if we take a peek. You can see I've got Batman. Uh, that is the Darkest Dawn Batman. Doc Knock is finally open. I've got White Moon Knight. Thank you, Buddy Corley. Doc Knock, thank you, Mike Cannon. And Kevin Haight. I actually won one from Kevin Haight. I've got two gold skulls. One goes from Jeff Adams, who is Tristan Michael Adams' father. Thank you, brother, for the trade. The other one was a purchase from Mezco. I've got my Craig 13. I have my Shadow Bat, which was a waffle win. Thank you, Miguel Yanguis and Michael Morowski. I have Judge Dredd. Thank you, Jaden Mendiola, for helping me get a hold of that badass motherfucker. Now I just need his cloak. If anyone has it, let me know, please. I've got Classic Punisher. Thank you, what, uh trying to remember your name brother you're in canada oh canada sorry brother i know you're out there it might be wesley randall we've got joker that i bought off of uh jamie stalenberg some of you guys know him i've got harley quinn that i bought on my own i then have my tiger stripe wolverine I've got the brown Wolverine from Jaden as well. And I have an Iron Fist that I had bought and opened for myself. The review's coming this weekend. He is a bad, badass person. Yeah, you're right, Rufus. They are. I love you, John Rivera. You're the man, brother. You want a little... My daughter's watching. But you know what I was going to show you. Kyle Clark. He's part of the sunroom. He had an X-Jet for sale, and he cut me a beautiful deal on it. If anyone knows where to get the stickers, I need to get some stickers as they were put on the wrong side of the thing, not by me. And I don't know if it was by him. I don't know if he was officially the uh, first owner of that. Now, this pop, not a big pop head, but... I had to get him, and it's not even for the pop. I'm sorry. I like the pop, but he comes with a gas can, El Pyru, and then he comes with a little grill with a steak on it, a little T-bone. So I'm sure this will come in favor and handy with some toy photos, right? And Harley Quinn is a good figure. I'm sorry. I'm just going through. I don't know who typed that because the comments are getting kind of wonky on me. But Harley Quinn is a good figure. I did unfortunately end up with an issue with one of her pom-poms on her wrist came off. But that was me just not knowing how to be gentle with it and goofing it up. So uh, here's the other Mezcos that I have that I still have to open. I think I'm going to trade my uh, Nosferatu. I have a Doc Knock that would be for trade. I have a KG Beast for trade. If any of y'all lucky, lucky men of the sunroom or women want to try to take a stab at it, work with me on something on it, and we can get it together. But all right, guys, so I took 34 minutes of your time. I just want to say thank you to everybody that is a part of the sunroom. Thank you for making the community that is over 3,000 members strong and growing. We've actually grown about 5%, 4% 
constantly for the past two months. And recently we've had a nice little surge. We've grown 5%, not a big jump, but it's enough to be like, cool, you know, pat yourself on the back, but it's really pat you guys on the back. Okay. Thank you guys for everything that you do for the sunroom. Thank you for watching this video and being a part of the sunroom toy reviews on YouTube. And until next time, sunroom, peace out. Much love. I'll see you guys next Friday. I'm going to try to do this every Friday. Same time, roughly same channel for sure. All right. And stay tuned to the channel. If you haven't seen the white skull, go watch it. Iron Fist is coming up. And then I've got Dusty Marvel Legend Deadpool on deck too. Later, guys.